Is everyone okay? Hmm. Do you folks... Hold on now. Hey, Ray? Have you acquired any shared memories from the 17th, 18th, or 19th centuries of which you are currently aware? And if so... Ray. Yes? Do you not see what I'm seeing here? Uh, oh. Peter? Egon? The trap's empty. Ray? Vankman, we have a... A what? A problem? Was that what you were going to say? You truly have no sense of creativity. Hello? Anybody hear me? Of course not, Pete. You're in a formless void. Great. Hey, Universe! This is Egon's fantasy, not mine! I need more in life than a vast swath of nothingness! Okay, I was thinking more along the lines of a harem of Swedish bikini models, but hey, a door's a good start. Even if it is this door. Okay, level with me. Am I in hell? Hardly, Dr. Venkman. We're in your mind. Welcome to the center of your being. This is the center of my being. I think someone sold you a phony map. Oh, come now. You have a lot of fond memories tied to this office. Of co-eds, mostly. But still, you were comfortable here. And since we're going to have a talk, you and I, I'd prefer to be in a comfortable environment. Have a seat. Aren't you a little busy right now? Egon's gonna want your attention, and if you ignore him for too long, he'll zap my body, and I can't say I'm really up for any violent bowel evacuations today. Oh, don't worry, I'm perfectly capable of splitting my focus. Now sit. Well, you do seem to hold all the cards. Ha. So, fine. We talk. How about them Knicks? No. Not a basketball guy, huh? Mind your tone, Doctor. Do not disrespect me. Or what? Or perhaps my interest in having this conversation will end. And I will move on to devouring your soul. Hmm. You got any thoughts on the infield fly rule? Well now, there's an idea. Who likes baseball? <laughs> Watch out. Go! We gotta get these people out of here, man. We gotta... Egon, how many more of those grenades did you bring? You know, I'm not used to such a complete lack of fear on the part of my hosts. It's one of the reasons I was so eager for a dialogue. Well, I'm not used to 17th century boogeyman having a solid grasp on English, so let's call it even. Touché. Care to hazard a guess? Not even a little bit. Oh, you're no fun. Hey, I'm fun. I'm like a barrel full of monkeys, but without the fur and the teeth and the rabies. You know what? I think you're after something. Strike that. I know it. You're a soul eater who hasn't had a bite since Woodstock, and hippies can't have been very filling. But you want to talk. 
That doesn't make sense. So tell me, what is it you really want? Okay, people, home stretch will be out of here before you know it. Get away! Is everything gonna be okay? It's gonna be fine. Everybody, get ready to run. <sighs> you will not be doing that again! I want you to not waste my time. I'm running out of patience, Dr. Venkman. Oh, come now. You immortal entity guys are beyond such abstracts as patience, right? Besides, who's wasting time? You said you wanted to talk. We're talking. What I wanted! <sighs> what I wanted was to know why you have no fear. No pressing urge to escape. No... Of course... You're unafraid because you don't care what happens to you. And you don't care because one of the things you want most is forever denied to you. Oh, you're gonna try to psychoanalyze me now, huh? Well, two can play at that game, buddy. And you just woke the sleeping dragon. This guy is really doing a number on the local topography. The park manager is gonna want our eyes. Well, not like it's our fault. It's rarely our fault. Well, not to this degree. I hate to say it, but we're not gonna give very far blasting monkeys all night long. We gotta take out the source. Huh? I got it. I'm finally on to you, Bunky. I mean, yeah, that psychology degree on my wall is mostly to impress the ladies, but that doesn't mean I didn't pick up a thing or two back in school. Matter of fact, they used to call me Mighty Joe Jung. See, cause I get human nature. Why would you think that applies to me? Well, you are what you eat. Seriously, you eat souls. It's what you do. A little bird told me that you especially like wants and emotions and bad vibes. So you possess some poor schmuck and there's a light show and bats and you screw around on the physical plane and yada 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 until supper time. I know you're doing the whole Phantom of the Park thing out there, but so far there's not a whole lot of soul eating going on. I mean, I'd notice, right? <laughs> and one may wonder why. Clearly, hang on, I'm gonna do my Egon impression. You'll love this. Clearly, the entity requires more than close spiritual proximity to facilitate its feeding. Eh? His own mother couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> oh, look at you! You're all snarly. I think Dr. Pete's got you pegged. Now I think, and stop me if I'm wrong, that maybe you can't just go sucking on souls from the go. And from your very subtle hints, I think you need me wanting to get away. If I was already as freaked out as an average Joe, I'm sure we wouldn't even be having this conversation. But since I'm not, you're trying to stir me up. You even broke out the old, I need to get back and try to rekindle things with my former love ploy. That's desperate. I mean, here I am with all that yummy, modern greed floating around my prefrontal cortex, as finely processed as a hot dog, a meal so tempting you just couldn't say no and you can't even get a bite in. <sighs> Must be frustrating is all I'm saying. Enough! Hey now, there he is, the big bad scary ghost. You stupid, stupid thing! Don't you realize the danger you're in? Don't you understand what is going on? You're dealing with a trained psychologist, Jack. I minored in understanding. And what I understand now is that I'm not turning into the breakfast platter you'd hoped for. And you're not too happy about that. Sure, you could always hop out of me and find an easier snack. Except my pal Winston's got a bit of a hero complex, so I bet he's probably already ushered anyone without their own Positron Collider right out of the park. And Egon and Ray aren't gonna be any easier a meal than me. Rough luck, huh? No! You know, I bet after a few hundred years you built up a little soul addiction, didn't you? Yeah, I can see it in your face. I recognize all the signs no, of addiction. No, 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 I went no, to a seminar no, no. once. I am an ancient and powerful being! Addiction is an impossibility! 
I need only to feed. I must feed. Yeah, sounds like an addiction to me. It is not. Well, you say potato, I say spud. Way I see it, your options at this point are to stay in my head in the hopes that I suddenly panic, or get out of here and take your chances. Well, what will it be? I've made a mistake. I should have supped on the child. This isn't working. We may have to raise the power on the stream to full levels. That won't hurt, Vinkman. Of course. But... Guys, look. What's going on with Peter? Ah! Drop it, drop it! Oh! No! No, not fair! Oh God! You all right, Pete? No. How'd you exercise yourself? I did what I do best. I communicated. Ah! My aching. So, which one of you mooks shot me? He did it. Well, look who it is. Miss Janine Melnitz visiting her favorite boss in the hospital. Aren't you a lamb? I just thought I'd stop in and see how you were doing on my way to yoga. Yoga? Don't start with me or I'll crack the rest of your ribs. You know, normally I'd be giving you grief about the whole new agey exercise crap, but right now, I'm feeling too good to care. Too good? You would drop 20 feet onto the pavement, cracked four ribs, and then wound up having to have an emergency appendectomy on top of it all. How are you feeling good? Mostly the fentanyl. But also on Egon's insistence. I had a full workup done so we could look for any post-possession physiological changes. And? Were there any? BMI, cholesterol, blood pressure, you name it, it's all down. I'm as healthy as a horse, healthier even. I had the doctor fax these drastically improved results to Peck, who was down here this morning to accuse the hospital of falsifying records and was subsequently hauled off by security. You just can't get any better than that. He humiliates himself in public and gets to shove his reasonable physical requirements where the sun don't shine. Well, I'm glad you're having such a wonderful time here, but I have to go. And before I forget, Ray wanted me to drop this off for you. He said you'd appreciate it. Thanks, Janine. Have fun with the whole yoga... thing. 